We live in a three-dimensional world, and so there's really three directions that we can take medical images from. Throughout the rest of this series, we're going to be looking at a lot of medical images, and so it's important that we can talk about all three of these. Those three are frontal, sagittal, and transverse. A cross-section is basically if you were to take a human body and you were to make a cross-section or cut it in half somewhere and look at what would you see if you were looking down at that now. Sly is going to help out with this. So let's imagine I were to cut Sly in half right here. So let me go ahead and cut. Just kidding, I was not about to cut Sly in half. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. Let's go to the whiteboard. The first plane we have is called a frontal plane. It's kind of like we divided the body like this and we're looking from the front at the cross section. This plane is also known as the coronal plane. Coronal plane. It divides the body into an anterior and a posterior half. If you need to review those terms, check out my video on directional terms. So here's the anterior half in blue and the posterior half in green. And whenever you look at this, it'll look like you're looking at an outline of the human body, as if you were looking from the front. Here's an example. This is a frontal x-ray, and it shows somebody's spinal fusion. This is very similar to what I have in my back after our car wreck damaged a couple vertebrae, and those had to be held back together with screws. I only have four instead of the six screws that you see here, but it's very similar to what my x-ray would have looked like. Here's another example. This is a frontal CT scan, and you can see on here the bones of the vertebrae, you can see the pelvis, you can see femurs, and you can tell that you're looking from the front. So that's a frontal plane. Up next we have what's called the sagittal plane. And the sagittal plane is going to divide the body like this. Divides it into the left half and right half, which we're going to see on the screen in blue and green again. Now if we divide the body right down the middle, we call that a mid-sagittal. So if it's divided like this, mid-sagittal. If it's divided kind of off to the side, that's just a regular sagittal. Mid-sagittal, sagittal. Mid-sagittal, Sagittal. Here's an example. We've got a view from the side. Anytime you see a view from the side, you know it's going to be a sagittal plane. You can remember they both start with S, side, sagittal. In this, we see the spinal cord and some organs. We're viewing from the side. This is a CT scan. If you want to know more about scans, check out my video on different types of medical imaging. And this one is a mid sagittal. We know it's mid sagittal. It must be right down the middle because we see the spinal cord right there in the scan. Here's an example of a regular sagittal that's not mid-sagittal. Notice that we don't see the spinal cord, so this had to have been off-center a little bit. So it's still a sagittal plane, but we don't see the spinal cord right down the center, so it must be regular sagittal. Here's another example, just because I think it's cool. This is a sagittal MRI of a brain. We can tell we're not looking from the front, we're looking from the side, so it must be sagittal. Finally, we have what's called a transverse plane. And you know it's transverse anytime it doesn't really look like a human. I'll show you that in a second. The transverse plane, cuts across like this, and it divides the body into superior and inferior parts. You can see that superior in red and inferior in orange. Here's the first example. This is a transverse cross section of the leg. And so we see we've got the skin, hypodermis, muscles, bone, and it doesn't look like a human. It's not the outline of a human. And so it's probably gonna be transverse, like we cut the leg across like this. Here's another example. This is an example of a transverse cross section of the brain, an MRI in this case. Quick recap. We've got three cross-sectional planes that we can use to categorize different medical imaging cross-sections. We have the frontal plane, which divides the body like this. Sometimes it's called a coronal plane. We've got the sagittal plane, which divides the body into left and right sections. Mid-sagittal if it's right down the middle, regular sagittal if it's to the side. And a transverse plane, which is going to cut the body like this into superior and inferior sections. Before we go, take a moment to test your knowledge. Here's three scans, one of each. If you need to, pause the video and identify which is which and we're gonna go over the answers now. In the top left, we have a transverse cross section. We can see the lungs there and the heart. On the top right, we have a frontal cross section. Again, there are the lungs and a couple arteries going to the heart. And then finally, we have a sagittal cross section. And this is probably a mid-sagittal because we can see the spine down the middle there. Thanks for watching and remember to keep learning. Don't forget to check some other videos. You can click those here now. What do you think about cross-sectional planes? Do you have a favorite? Transverse, sagittal, frontal, should people subscribe? Should they like the video? Should they leave a comment? How can you say no to that?